Hello everyone, is another clearance sale watch. Yep, so this is March. Anyways, I think why not start with the whole, oh my gosh, look what they did to it. <laughs> so this is basically the police parking sign and it turns out someone just straight up rammed into it. My mom thinks actually the car, the car that hit it is damaged or something. Hmm, I wonder what it looks like. Well, anyways, let's go to the actual stuff. So, everyone should notice is that the Pikachu stuff is gone. Oh, wait. I think the Pikachu, yeah, the Pikachus are gone. Someone actually bought all the Pikachus, all three of them. So, they're gone. All there's left is just some baby stuff and looks like raining rab rapid rabbits. And, oh, wait, they moved the boxes up there. Oh, I didn't notice. Well, I guess either way, the freaking Pikachus are gone no matter what. I mean, come on. They're too popular not to be gone. So if I do ch come back next time, I'll check those boxes and see if they really are gone. But anyways, let's continue on. So, yes, the freaking section I checked out has completely changed. For $25 le or less, you can actually get the turtle sub, if you can notice there. So, Lego turtle sub is up for grabs. Oh, it looks like there's a Lego city one I didn't actually check out. So, oops. You also have some sparkling girls, uh, air hogs, yeah, etc., etc. More Lego stuff. Yeah, and these Legos are actually very, 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 very pricey because notice the fact that they have them chained up. So as you can see, this is the mammoth thing for all the mammoths. Yeah, so in Chima. And also there's the fire station ready to be picked up even though it's still the same freaking price. Smart idea. And also there's a Lego Star Wars. I don't know which one it was. Oops. <laughs> Sadly, yeah, you get some messed up blurry stuff. I think it's actually so Yeah, sadly the freaking stuff is I think this might actually be the next aisle I hope it is if not then dang I think this hopefully is yeah, this is the aisle. Yeah, so yeah Next to it is more freaking mammoths and I think even behind that is actually some other stuff other Chima set so yeah, there's Mixels, you have freaking Disney Duplo, you have Chima sets. Sadly, my freaking camera slash phone, I actually should have got the other one, I know. But yeah, it's sometimes it does right and sometimes it does wrong. That's the messed up part of it having the focus instead of just straight up take the shot. <sighs> yeah, just more practice, I guess. Hopefully it'll have a sudden shot where it's like easy take us picture good all right well anyways next up <clears throat> good one here so next up you have um i forgot her name i keep on forgetting her name but zane's i'll say zane's freaking ship yeah you have that one and notice the fact that it has the black thing over it so that means oh it's worth a lot of money <laughs> and yet you're not going to reduce it you want to get rid of it but you're not reducing it I don't get why you're not. Of course, there's some novelty stuff, like for instance, Zed the Zombie. It's 12 Dawa. Also, there's the freaking Pirate Sword. I definitely wanted to show that one off. And of course, as you can see, there's like some Disney stuff. Disney. My little pet shop. My The littlest pet shop. Those stuff, I think it's gone. But I know you still have the freaking Monsters, Inc. little minis. So, yeah. Well, anyways, back to the freaking aisle where the Lego's supposed to be. There's the Tenkai Knights, which they're all still here. There's the still the freaking castle set, which I would love to get it. But there's still $11. $11 for that little box. Seriously? It's time for you to slash prices. I thought you guys loved the slash prices. And yet, you aren't doing it yet. I really hope they will. Yep, still got Hound here. I was going to say Bulkhead, my goodness. Yeah, you still got freaking Hound here. I can't find the other one that you can see right now. Yeah, but I can't find that one. So I think $10 is a good idea. Yeah, you should mark the other one down to $10. But instead, you marked it to almost $13. Congratulations. Next up is the freaking Dragon. It's called Nindroid Mech Dragon. Cool. Yeah, this is a good picture. Very good. 
yeah as you can see it's actually seventy dollars still it's like if you want to get rid of this stuff good idea to start slashing prices i know you're gonna lose money but either it's lose money or get some space your decision of course next up is the lion temple yes lion temple and yeah they have like at least two or three of these and of course right beside it is helicopter surveillance close to 55 dollars actually 54 but still slash it down dang yeah they luckily they still have freaking lego friends i think it might have been marked down to nine dollars might have been they usually do that by now or maybe even seven dollars but for right now i don't see any of that proof and then we got the funny part of spider-man and freaking <laughs> Raphael, which Raphael's tag has been ripped off but spider-man it looks like he's worth 16 dollar so i'm like really you think i'm gonna pay 16 dollar for that really not only that but it says ultimate spider-man on it so yeah the tv show no i don't support that of course i thought it was cool to actually show another star wars set the at80 and there was a previous other Star Wars set I found, which you'll see right now. But yeah, that one's gone. I haven't, I don't see it. So I think someone bought it already. Next is the freaking Rabbids Invasion. Yeah, they actually have this. That's technically the same stuff I've seen. And now you get to have a little look see of the fact that they bought too much. And because of that, they're getting punished for it. Again, yet again, it's still Despicable Me 2. And. They have those. They have freaking Tenkai Knights. It's time to lower the price. Hey, look, it says 150 now. Oh, no freaking way. 150 for those? Oh, no freaking way. Yeah, they got desperate. They're going very, very desperate now. As you can see, the, ra the rabbits invasion thing is over here too. So, yep, but it's technically almost empty. That's the good news. It looks like it's almost empty. Congratulations on that. I thought it was a good idea to show you the third freaking aisle, and this is the third aisle, or is usually the other overflow Legos are here, but instead, all it is now is what you see. There is no toys whatsoever on this aisle, so thought to just show you this so I can just go on my merrily way. Anyways, I came to show you what the clearance aisle looked like, and I actually did tidy up just a little bit, and well, here's what I found. I found a bunch of freaking dojo ones, which <clears throat> if they actually sell it at a decent price, or maybe we just go crazy enough to put $1 each, I would buy mostly all five of those. And it most likely sell the freaking minifigure, whoever wants it. <laughs> but still, I love the dojo. The look, dojo looks quite cool. I would love to see a freaking review about that, but I don't think I saw a review on it. So, yeah, that's kind of sad. But I... It looks good from what I see. It looks very, very good. And yeah, again, as you can see, it's the freaking magic thing. I was like, we'll have a clearer version of it right now that you see. <clears throat> so as you can see, they basically also went in here and did some moving around. So to go the Mega Buster, I'll just call it a Mega Buster. I think it was called something else. The Super Mega Cannon. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, instead of being in the right, now it's on the left side. <laughs> they really need to just sell it for five bucks already and get it over with. I tried my best to show you a little bit of what the aisle looks like. So yeah, this is like a little look-see of what the aisle looks like. And this is one thing I did is took all the freaking Hero Masters and put it together. And right behind all four of these is Grimlock. Yep, big box up full of Grimlock. Yeah, so yeah, these are all the ones I talked about. Rodimus, Starscream, Soundwave, Triceratops, <laughs> uh, Slug. I meant to say Slug. Dinobot Slug. Well, anyways, I went to the Lego aisle, and it looks like they just buy freaking Series 13. Just one box, and then they quit. And as for freaking Halo, it's like right here. It's kind of like, if you have minifigures and they're selling out super fast, don't you think you need to get another box? It's kind of like after you run out, get another box. If you run out again, get another box. It's like very, very easy. With these guys, it's kind of like I see you still have them. I don't get why you're not just going to 
it's it's really boggling of why didn't you just continue on with the Lego minifigures? I don't get it. Yeah, some people buy them, but it's not like what's going on with Lego minifigures. They're selling out like hotcakes. Seriously, I can't even find a freaking box. <laughs> okay, next. Yeah, next is the freaking. I'm not. Oh, Sabretooth, I guess that was it. Yeah, so. Yeah, you have that one with Sabretooth Tigers. And. Again, another Mech Dragon. And basically, after all this, is just lots of other stuff. Like, for instance, I have Call of Duty. Uh. All the things I showed you previously in a previous clearance sale, they have them still. Of course, yeah, some of the other LEGO ones, like for instance, the LEGO couch is missing. They do still have the freaking mall. They have that one still for LEGO friends. And yeah, the <clears throat> one with, I think it was Cole. Yeah, the Ninjago set with Cole is gone. Yeah, the sheep one the sheep lego mini figure lego friends set is gone it was seven dollars the jet ski one i think that one's gone too the one with the uh, oh yeah andrea's mountain hut that's gone now and well the pianicles are still there and that's about it yeah that's about it i mean uh yeah the freaking lego star wars 3 game i think that actually has been bought up so yeah mostly everything is still there so that's all that's all i needed to oh yeah also in the other the clearance sale, sale place um madrinas yeah madrinas highland games that's gone all of them been sold and also freaking aerial sets has been sold even though it looks like right here it says it's 1297 man you guys are idiots <laughs> seriously you guys are idiots you buy those as idiots but anyways, let me just end it with just saying, if they're trying to get rid of all these freaking merchandise, all the stuff, why don't you just slash the prices? Because, yeah, what's even crazier is that they have a piece of paper that tells them what they have to do. The fact that they have to move some stuff away from the place because they're loading and adding stuff to it. Even though you look at the aisle and you basically look at it and say, it's not full. I mean, why don't you just have like a lower aisle, the lower freaking shelf full of the old stuff? So, yeah, just make that sacrifice. So at least if you're going to freaking still having the same exact price, then you should, I might as well still have it in the freaking toy aisle instead of putting it on clearance sale. Because if it's on clearance, then usually when it's on clearance sale, that means the freaking prices have been slashed. But instead, it's still the same price. Hopefully, they'll freaking realize that and start freaking slashing the prices. Like, for instance, when I got the Optimus Prime that you guys see a review on, that one slashed very, very quickly. Yeah, within like two weeks, they slashed it. Yeah, they slashed it from $59.99 to $25. See? They know how to do it. It's just that for some reason, they just don't know when to really do it. So if you really want to get rid of your stuff, definitely just slash the prices. Other than that, yeah, just wait for some stupid slow-mo or some stupid sucker to actually come to the freaking aisle and say, Ooh, I need it. And it's still the same exact price of... It's really messed up. It's like, if it's in clearance sale, definitely lower the price. Start lowering the price. I mean, don't lower the price to dirt poor to $1. I mean, if you do for that turtle sub... I know for my, I know I would buy that one easily. Yeah, I would know for a fact I would buy all the freaking big sets if they're $1 each. I would so do it. And then I might even sell like some of the freaking copies on the internet. Hey, I, I know that's messed up, but seriously, it's like they're trying, they're just throwing it away. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to sell it for $10. Even, yeah, and most likely it's going to be a steal for someone. For me, I'm not going to go aim high and say, oh. I got it, bought it for one dollar. I'm gonna go for fifty dollar. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's messed up. But anyways, thank you for watching and stay tuned for a freaking clearance sale watch. And for anyone who actually is like, ooh, 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 I would love to have that. Definitely, maybe copy comment down below. We could try to make some transaction to where I could actually buy that set for you or something. But yeah, it's not really that. It doesn't happen like that. But hey, who knows? Option always open.
have a good night or good day and see you around.